What's the most important purpose of an abstract? Is it a simple summary? It is an overview of the topic to be discussed. It's to get the reader interested in the, in the paper, to develop trust between the author and the reader, or E, all of the above. When you are searching for information, you might not be able to read the whole paper when you first search, and so you read the abstract. You need to know if your time is going to be spent wisely, that your money is going to be spent wisely if you have to purchase this paper. And so the most important purpose is to develop trust. Let's take a look at the abstracts then. There are two main types of abstract. And when the journal tells you to provide a structured abstract, I actually love this style because this style very clearly separates background, method, results, conclusion. Very nice, very clear. This is beautiful. The reader can see the method. Oh, the, the, the results look interesting, the final point. This is very nice as a reader. But even when it's not a structured abstract, you still need to provide this balanced coverage. You still need to provide information from your introduction, your methods, your results discussion. You still need to provide information from all sections. In fact, the common problems then with abstracts, the writer holds back significant points. And so lack of balanced coverage, including references. The references typically go with the main text of the paper, not the abstract. So don't put references in your abstract. Some abstracts are much, much too long. A standard abstract is 150 to 200 words. I have seen up to 500 words. Some people have tried to write abstracts. It needs to be shorter than that. And the final common mistake is this issue of copy-paste again. So many times when I've been editing papers, the first line of the abstract and the first line of the introduction is the same. And the reader goes, hey, wait a minute. Abstract, right next to the introduction, it's the same. And they go, oh, that looks strange. Please don't do that. Thank you for your time. I appreciate you listening. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.